No. It's not safe to eat bread in your breakfast. Why? Not just bread, almost everything they sell in bakeries are harmful. Flour, water, yeast, salt, butter, olive oil, sugar are all you need to make a basic meal. But on the other side, when these bakeries add additional ingredients like oil, vinegar, preservatives, flour, cooking agents, and other toxic ingredients, even the multi-grain wheat breads have emulsifiers, lecithin, mono, and disulfides, bromide, added sugars, and high fructose corn syrup, which are unhealthy. Bromide is a dough conditioner found in most flours as potassium bromate. They are actually used to make the dough more elastic. Bromide is an endocrine disturber that competes for the same receptors in the thyroid gland as iodine. Constant ingestion of bromide in our daily bread may eventually create a thyroid hormone imbalance because iodine is needed for thyroid hormone production. It is also implicated in many cancers. Many countries have banned bromide in bread, hope they ban too. They ban in Pakistan and India too. Commercial bread bakers have no interest in nutrition. They add all those harmful ingredients just to increase their sale. Eating once or twice a year is fine, but eating regularly will cause same, some severe problem to our health by buying breads in bakeries. Learn how to make your own bread or flat bread and eat bread while eating your breakfast. There are some potential drawbacks to consider. Some types of bread can be high in calories, leading to weight gain if consumed in excess. This now bread, which has a higher fat and sugar content, can become particularly calorie dense. Some commercial bread products may contain added sugars, which can contribute to weight gain and other health issues. White bread and other refined carbs have a higher glycemic index, it can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar levels after consumption. So it's not suitable for people with diabetes or pre-diabetes. This can lead to cravings, hunger pains, making it harder, harder to stick to a weight loss plan. Some commercial brand may contain preservatives and additives to extend their shelf life and improve texture. Phytic acid is found in whole grains. It can interfere with the absorption of certain nutrients like iron, silk, and calcium. While the levels of phytic acid in bread are generally low, it can still be a concern for some people. Some breads, particularly commercial ones, can be high in sodium. And this can contribute to high blood pressure and other health issues. Some types of bread may contain additives like emulsifiers and low conditioners which can affect the texture and bare zone of the bread. Some people may experience digestive issues like loading gas and constipation after consuming them. This could be due to the factors such as gluten sensitivity or other irritants like food maps, fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. Bread is a carbohydrate food which can make less ideal. Stores for those following a low carbon ketogenic 